Right, this is the 9th of April, folks. I hope you're all well and looking forward to doing some art. I thought I'd first I'd show you my studio and the sort of things you might need when you start painting. First of all, can I just recommend this pad of paper? If you can get this pad of paper that we'll be working on, it's very good. The reason why I recommend it is, I got it in France, you buy it on YouTube, oh, sorry, on Amazon, I think. Um, if you can buy this pad, it's very good because the paper, the paper is very good. It, you can use it for acrylics, watercolour, and gouache, it's, and oil, even oils, because it's, it's so strong. It's a nice paper. First thing we're going to do today, well, let me show you these materials. First of all, you might need some watercolour painting sets, which you can buy when this whole thing is finished. You might be able to go to an art shop locally and buy these things. A nice set of watercolour paints, which cost a fortune, but you can buy them in tubes. You only need about four colours, uh, red, yellow, blue and, and white. Plenty, two, two tubes of white, red, yellow and blue. It's all you need. And a glass of wine to start your day. Anyway, um, you'll need a mixing palette like that, uh, little pots, coloured pencils, a pad, and some brushes. I've got oil brushes. I've got watercolour brushes. I've got some palette knives. I've got oil paints. I've got a, inks. A, a gouache. And... Uh, what else you, you should let me just say you, most importantly please 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 get yourself a little um, uh, book to put your sketches in uh, this is one of mine um, it's uh, it's very nice just a pen and ink a little pen pencils and, and the sketchbook that's what you you do need a sketchbook so you can go back to it and do some painting from from what you've done i've still got to do a painting a large painting of this little sketch i did when i was in Karom, a lovely village in um the south of france in provence so i do these and then i might make a painting you see like i'm going to do with this now what i want everybody to do to start this project, what I'm going to do anyway, is I, I've masked on this piece of paper four squares. And each one I've put in an image just by memory. I haven't, um, it's not, well, actually, th this is, uh, what is that? That's this bowl and jug and that bowl in the background. Uh, that is those flowers. That is just a made-up thing, a bowl with possibly a, a lot of an orange, an apple and a banana or something like that, and it's got a base. These, these are just simple things you can put together by memory or whatever, from a photograph or whatever you like. Anyway, I want to show you how to make mixed colours using watercolour. So that's going to be our first project today. But I don't want, I'm not going to start painting today. I'll do that tomorrow. How to mix colours, especially greys from a mixture of colours. So tomorrow we're going to start. But what I would like you to do is prepare, if you can, something like this. I've masked it off because I'm going to take the masking tape off and you get this sort of thing in the end and you get a nice uh, set of paintings which you could frame. This is the same technique using, what did I use, uh, watercolour paints. And you can see these white shapes. That is, if you can imagine that square was white before I started, I just put some oil paint sorry not oil paint just liquid oil olive oil anything will do on the paper so that's oil 
on on white paper first to get the whites because oil and water don't mix and of course when you put the oil watercolor on it, it, it doesn't touch the, the paper because of the oil so we're going to do that experiment in our next lesson so please make four squares up put something in the four squares that you like just a drawing a doodle or copy something from a photograph and then we'll start colouring in and I'll show you how to mix the colours. See you tomorrow.